Hey guys, welcome back. For this Aldi hack, we are going to be talking about the five different tag colors and what they all mean to help save you money on your next trip. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe for weekly tips and tricks to help save busy moms like you money. So when I started shopping at Aldi a little bit more regularly, I didn't understand what the tags meant. And I thought that I would have to stock up on any item that I saw that I liked because I didn't think I would be able to find it again. We are going to start with the most commonly seen colored tag in the store, and this is the yellow tag. The yellow tag indicates that it is a core item and you are going to be able to find it week after week. The second tag color that you're going to see as you continue to walk straight down the aisle as you have entered the store is the green tag. Green just means produce. I'm not sure why this is a different color because like you know when something's produce. I'm not sure why those made it a different color, but maybe it's because the prote produce rotates frequently. There are some standards, but they do tend to rotate out and we'll get a little bit more into those tags later on. All right, so our third tag is everybody's favorite tag. It is the white and red tag, which is the Aldi finds tag. These are the items that do rotate really frequently, although not as frequently as you might think. I used to think that white and red tag items would only be there for one week. And while this is the case in that middle aisle of the random stuff Aldi finds, the aisle of all the crap I didn't know I needed, that generally does just stay for a week or until the item is sold out. The food items, however, do rotate a little bit less frequently. I'm gonna say maybe like one to two weeks. These are the Aldi finds. So these are the items that aren't gonna be in the store all the time. So if you find one that you really like, stock up. I may or may not have 17 bags of pot stickers in my basement freezer for my husband. The fourth tag that we are gonna talk about is the white and black tag. It is also an Aldi Finds tag. It is most frequently seen on the Aldi Finds freezer section. These are also gonna be limited time buys. So what the tag is gonna say is limited time premium buy. And what that means is it is either a brand name item that Aldi has gotten in stock that they are probably not getting more of. They may have only gotten one truckload of that item. They had lean pockets recently for $1.59. My husband eats those. That's a good deal for those. They're usually on sale at Giant two for five, so that still makes them, what, $2.50? Or the other option is that they are putting that tag on one of their white and red tagged items that they're trying to clearance out. I've seen this on some of the Earth Grown Vegan items recently. They had Earth Grown Vegan Nuggets originally, I think they were around $4 a box. Last week when I was there, they had moved from a white and red tag to a white and black tag, and now they're only 99 cents. So definitely a huge savings, but I think that probably also means they aren't coming back again, at least not until the next rotation. All right, our fifth and final tag is the blue tag. So the blue tags mean one of two things, and that is either that it is a seasonal favorite or a new at Aldi item. Obviously new at Aldi means, well, you know, new at Aldi. That's a pretty obvious one. Yesterday I saw for the first time fresh deli sliced lunch meat at my Aldi, and it had the blue new at Aldi tag. More commonly, the blue tag is a seasonal favorite item at Aldi. Now, I don't know who defines the season, don't know who defines the favorite, but the blue tag is a seasonal favorite. One of my favorite seasonal favorite items, favorite seasonal favorite, that's a tongue full, tongue full, mouthful. One of my favorite seasonal favorite items is the garlic herb tilapia. Also, if you're weirded or sketched out by the fish at Aldi, don't be, get it, it's a real good. So, we like to get the garlic herb tilapia. We have that for dinner probably once a week. It was super sad to see it leave Aldi uh, for a period of time over the winter, but now that we're getting back, now that we're getting back into spring, it's starting to reappear again. So I'm not sure exactly what the seasonal favorites have to do with it, but eh. 
I don't know. Oh, I know, one of the other seasonal favorites that was a super favorite of mine, and I'm still on the hunt for it for my mother-in-law because I've seen it online in a Facebook group. It still exists in some stores, but at Christmas time there was the chocolate mint hummus, or the mint chocolate hummus, and that stuff was really good. The dessert hummus, the brownie batter, the vanilla bean, they're a yellow tagged item, so they're there all year round. They're disgusting, don't bother but the mint chocolate hummus is really good. So if you see that, get it, eat it on some graham crackers, it's delicious. Awesome, if you guys have made it this far, thanks. Remember to hit that like button, hit subscribe, and you are gonna be rewarded for watching with some more bonus tags. So first, the red stickers. The red stickers are those circle stickers that they put on meat that is about to go out of date and by about to i mean like within two ish days so i have seen one dollar off stickers i've seen two dollar off stickers once i saw a five dollar off sticker i didn't need that meat otherwise i totally would have bought it and i have also seen half off stickers i have the best luck with this on wednesdays because wednesdays when they restock so on Wednesday afternoons, they're trying to get rid of older meat and make room for the new stuff. Second bonus tag we are gonna talk about is another white and red one, but it's not the white and red Aldi Finds tag. You guys know what I'm talking about? Yes, that's right, it is the Aldi Savers. So you are going to see this tag on the end cap of your produce aisle the white and red Aldi Savers looks really similar to the Aldi Finds, it's not. So it's gonna be produce that the store carries regularly, but this week, for one reason or another, whatever reason, is on sale. So I got a personal watermelon last week, so it was super cute, it was like this big, and so it was a perfect size for my daughter and I to split. And I also got blueberries for I think 149. Obviously those are really good produce prices. And these things rotate every week. Ooh, I had 39 cent plantains last week too. Those were really good. Our right. bonus tag is the little heart. It is a blue heart with yellow letters and it is a fan favorite. So that just means an item that has become popularized, whether it is through other blogs or YouTube channels or Facebook groups, but these are just items that people really like, so they're generally really good or really useful items. I can't think of any off the top of my head that are a favorite in this house, but I'm sure that we buy some because we do 98% of our grocery shopping at Aldi because we have been trying to cut back on our grocery budget this year. So far we have been successful by switching the majority of our shopping to Aldi, learning how the different tags work so I don't unnecessarily stock up on items that I do not need to stock up on because they will be there for me again. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe for weekly tips and tricks to help save busy moms like you money.